So some of you may have heard that political commentator and track con Steven Crowder, his wife has filed for divorce. He said he's going through a horrendous divorce. He didn't initiate it. It's no one's fault, but he is heartbreaking and devastated nonetheless because he didn't want out. This may come as a surprise to some people. However, it does not come as a surprise to me. Why? Because what do feminists and traditional women have in common? Well, they're still women. And the fact that they're still women and may have a slight variance in their personality traits and their values does not change the fact that they're still capricious in their nature. Even traditional religious men who try to do things the morally just way are not exempt from experiencing the whimsical schemas of the female mind. Their relationships aren't immune to drama or impervious to divorce. And I've stated that the female brain is what's known as a minefield, subject to be triggered and detonated by a million different things a thousand times a day on any given day for any given reason at any given point in time. And men can often experience this. This is why a woman can decide she wants to marry you and then wake up and decide she no longer wants to be in your life, even though she's the love of yours. As a man, you can be loyal to God. You can be loyal to your principles and loyal to your word. But women, well... Women are loyal to only their feelings. And men like Crowder, who still happens to be an intelligent guy, happen to learn this the hard way. And this also goes to show you that no matter how long you've been together, no matter how prestigious you are or how much money you have, when a woman is unhappy, she will leave all of that behind. She doesn't care because the only thing that matters to women is what? Say it with me. Their feelings. For richer and for poorer, through sickness and in health, for better or for worse, till death do us part, are extremely vague parameters to predicate a woman's emotions on in the context of a marriage. Because those stipulations are solely dependent upon her interpretation of what those things mean. And when she becomes overwhelmed with stress or anxiety or a lack of desire to want to be with you any longer, those vows will hold absolutely no weight at all. And that's the repugnant, volatile reality that is female nature.